play some shit, Justin. Do it. What the? Do it. Let's do it. You putting me on the spot? No, yeah. no, nah, nah, you're good, dude. Why, why are you being humble? Hell yeah, I heard you playing, liar. What should I play? Anything, dude. Justin's the drum master. Let's see. Yeah, you're playing shit and the sticks ain't even touching the drums, dude. <laughs> uh, Justin's hella good, by the way. If you guys don't know Justin, he is the official photographer for Barba Brigade, and he's a hella good drummer, too. <gasps> Turn off the music, just play some crazy shit. Play some crazy. Uh. Woo. Sick. Oh no, I gotta fix this. Nah, that was tight, that was tight. That was tight. <laughs> I appreciate it, dude. That's tight. About to get ready for another Barbell Brigade launch shoot, and I am so freaking glad that it is actually cold today, dude. Look at this. Woo, look at the weather, nice and gloomy. And you know why? Because we're dropping some hot shit for this launch, I'm really, really excited. Look at this, we got a soft shell, uh, all weather jacket with that subtle Barbell Brigade right there. Got the pocket on the front. I don't know how I'm gonna, let me try to open this with one hand, I'll put my knee there, but look at that. Fleece on the inside, and on the back, we got that subtle barbell brigizi. Woo! So, I'm trying to organize my outfit to see how I'm gonna map out the shoot and what's gonna make all the outfits pop. I'll show you once I have that organized. All right, check it out. I got it all laid out. And I'm really, really proud of this line because I think this is one of our cleanest and most elevated lines yet. So um, with this jacket, we also drop in a Henley embroidery. Look at that, woo, clean with that raglan cut. Look at that, buttons, collar, long sleeve. So I'm gonna have to rock my Red Wings with this fit right here. And uh, I'm also gonna wear this with these guys, but I'll probably put on another pair of shoes by the time I get to that. Um, we also got the crew neck with the embroidery, the cream crew neck with the coffee embroidery. And then we also got, ooh, the pocket in the front. And then this is a weighted t-shirt from our normal tees. Cause like, if you get like a regular tee, like the one I'm wearing, so it's really comfortable for working out, right? It's thin and soft. But if you go embroider and you put a billion needles in there, it's gonna shrivel it all up. So with a lot of our, uh, with this line, we elevated and got a weighted tee so it's thicker. And I got really inspired by the polo tee that I always rock, my polo t-shirt. I just feel like it's clean, it's classy. And I was like, dude, Barbara should do the same where it still looks good in the gym, but it looks casual. So match that up with my G-Star khakis. Um, probably rock these two right here. And here we got the navy crew neck with the pocket same thing the uh, embroidered tee heavier weight and we got a really clean dominate humbly tee right here I'm gonna rock them with the the washed jeans and over here keeping it old school people love that aggressive barbell brigade so I gotta put that in there put that with the camel pants and also got the gray version of that dominant humbly tee that we just saw that's hella clean we also got a green version of that gangster ass font. Keep it up hardcore, you know? Cause that's what people love about Barbell Brigade. Dominate humbly, that beautiful contradiction. On one end we're killing it, and the other end we got a classier, softer edge. And uh, I really try my best to make that line live up to this where we got stuff that's clean, crisp, stuff that's aggressive, things a little bit more elevated, thin, stuff that's weighted, outerwear, all that. So. I'm gonna take a quick shower and then get ready to shoot with the man himself, Justin. I think this is one of my favorite ones, actually. Thank you, man. It's clean. It's my first outfit for the photo shoot. Got the Henley on. 
rocking that BB nice and clean. I completely forgot to bring my belt, but good thing I'm fat. So my pants can stay up without needing a belt. Sometimes it pays to be a little bit husky, but I think it looks pretty good. Looks good with the hat too. Y'all make fun of me about these hats, but I don't care. I've been rocking them since high school, homie. All right, time to go shoot. All right, second outfit, or actually third. I try to bang out um, like three outfits at a time with the pants at the same time, but not to toot my own horn, but this weighted shirt feels good. Just sits nice. And even though there's a slight wrinklage out of the packaging, it just all goes away because I think it's a heavier weight. But it still feels thin enough where it breathes. So this is my next outfit. Ready? It's a rock and roll. I'm gonna wear this one. And then I'm also uh, gonna wear that queen sweater. Queen sweater with the pocket and the coffee thread. I had to show y'all real quick because uh, the sweater is fire in my opinion. And it's one of the most elevated ones we have. Looks clean, look how, look how clean that cream looks, yo. Woo! And you got that touch of pocket in the front, just give that little accessory hint, you know? Like a little ta 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 Just a little bit of garnish on that sushi, you know? All right, rocking that Domine humbly. Just gotta show you guys real quick. I know you guys are probably getting bored of this. I don't wanna show you everything, but this one looks pretty clean. Rocked it with the, with the acid wash jeans to make that, that part pop a little bit. And uh, about to go shoot. Da, 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 da. Last and final outfit. I got the Dominant Humbly in gray. Rocked it with the camel pants and the Vans. And you can see the back of the hat right there with that hat. And then uh, we got the barbell tee. And then we are done. You guys wanna know what's pretty cuny? So this I'm with, car. <laughs> yeah, this car, but I'm with grandpa, I'm with Taika, I'm with grandma right now, and my bear is sitting in the way back, but we're going to show grandma and grandpa the new house we just put an offer on, so you heard it here first, it's official, we put an offer in, and I think we're going to start escrow, which is just a big word for me, starting all the paperwork process, um, starting next week and there's a random phone call Sorry, coming you can in ignore it. okay hold on it, yeah it does like a very scary noise oh okay yeah so we're taking them to go see the inside outside of the house and uh, hopefully they like it and if even if they don't we're getting it anyways we don't care <laughs> <laughs> you big funny dude the minute we got here my dad already started walking around trying to give himself a tour and this is the same man that used to beat my ass for telling me that I don't have patience. Like he would bring me home a toy and before he could even present it to me, I'm already taking off the wrapping paper. And he beat my ass for not having patience and it's the same dude. Look at this fool, he's already trying to find ways on how to get into the backyard. And I'm like, dad, let me give you a tour. And he's just being nosy and walking around like an old Chinese man. God damn it. This is a house. This is the room. Now, this side is the eating room. I was telling my dad that behind me is the formal dining room, and this is where we would have a formal—I mean, a formal living room, formal dining room. Now, this is the room, which is the living room, and obviously the kitchen is the kitchen. <laughs> my dad says it's too big here, huh? Huh? My dad thinks it's too big. It's pretty funny. This is what This is what This is Yeah, this is a breakfast snack. This is This is This is the kitchen. This is the kitchen. So my dad, that's a breakfast nook, and that's the dining room for dinner, and this is the living room. I think it's too big for my dad to understand. He's like, what the hell's going on here? It's pretty funny. See, my dad's just gonna give his own tour. It's just the way it is. Asi All of you guys with Asian parents know what I'm talking about. They already have their own agenda. They don't even know what you're trying to show them. They're just gonna go and do their own thing. Look at this fool. He's just looking around. 
你你你你准备在那里画游泳池啊？就在这边呢、啊。我不晓得 ，Geo 已经设计好了。我常常他们在 Geo 里 design 的，我懂 landscaper。但是他把这衣服的我看见他，我看见他在那里画，他这这里挂满衣服的，蛮厉害的。我跟你讲，你们两个的鞋子都跟房子，衣服太多。My dad says we have too many clothes, too many shoes. Hey babe, my dad says、uh, your closet's too small. Thank you. Hey Ma, you want to see our master bedroom? So she's taking it all in. We're going little by little. Oh, going little by little. She's、okay. the opposite of your dad. Which is perfect. Yeah. You see? Did you see it was a four-car garage, Ma? I saw. That's、yeah. pretty cool. 我跟你讲，以后以后他他搬到这里来，你要找他都很难找。我跟你讲。My dad says after we move here, we're gonna have a hard time finding this little dude if he's running around. I know. I'll put bells on his shoes. That's why it's gonna be fun. <laughs> Go to the bathroom first. Oh. Oh my God! Look at this. <laughs> It's small, huh? It's、oh、small, huh? <laughs> I think we're just right here. <laughs> yeah. And we get to see the view of the mountains from here, which is pretty cool.、Oh, that's beautiful. Are we gonna walk blindfolded? Yeah, we do. 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 Yeah, we do.
All right, so we're home now. How does it feel to be back home, Papa? Hmm? How does it feel? Just kidding, why? Really? Yeah, what do you mean? After seeing that house and coming back to this house. I mean, this house is cuny, but it's way smaller. Oh, yeah. It really is. It's cuny, but it's small. Yeah. And we're ready, because look. The chair, the counter. Not complaining. I still feel very blessed. And I love this house. I know. But I'm just trying to justify this cost, okay? I'm trying to justify. I'm blessed as fuck. Like, blessed beyond belief. But it's time for a new chapter in this book of CUNY, you know what I mean? Yeah, we need a bigger CUNY. We need a CUNY or bear CUNY. To do all the CUNY activities you want to do. My mom was saying she doesn't know how she's going to keep track of Taika anymore. She's like, I'm going to spend half of the day just looking for him all over the house. My dad said we should uh, put a bell on his ankle. That's what he said. Run around with a little bell so you know where he's at all the time. And then he's going to get really smart and then he's going to take it off. Huh? On the dog? <laughs> Look at that face. You already know that that's what he's thinking. Hey, we're having a moment. I know, I'm capturing it because it's cuny. Oh, I'm an Eskimo kiss. <laughs> Diles, hello. hello. <laughs> Ready? Ready? Um. Um. Good job. <laughs> Good job. That's cute. Good job. That's cute. Is this really my son? Is this guy really my son? Are you really my son? No. Yeah, you are. No. Uh huh. I saw it. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. Yeah, my son. Yeah, my son. Okay. Okay. Please don't knock it on my head. Ah. Uh. Mmm. Good job. Good job, dude. So my dad in a typical Asian dad fashion yeah. um, has probably like 90% uh, Westerners would deem as negative things to say about the Aww. house. But for the, but, oh, that's so sad. I'm yeah. sorry. Because ah. like, um, I don't think Asian dads are very supportive. So they're not emotionally there to back you up and say, like, oh, you must have liked this because you like the big kitchen. Mm. Or oh, I can see the kitchen and living space is just like what you have right now. So I can see how it's just an upgrade of what you have. I can, I can see how big the backyard is for all the fun activities you have. Mm. Instead of saying that, what he says is, um, he's like, you know how much it's going to cost to plant all that grass? He yeah, was, we know. And he was like, if I were you, I would do as much cement as possible because it's just so little maintenance. So just very thinking, very risk adverse, very like, I'm like, what do I want in my backyard? Like a well, parking lot, about, you know? Well, if you think about it, right? Yeah. He's just being puny in his way. He's like, what can I do to save my dumb son some money? Oh, I know what. I'm going to suggest the lowest cost for him. Yeah. So he is trying to support, but it's yeah, just yeah, in it's his very, own way. It's very Asian. But it's just not that. It's almost like you win like the UFC heavyweight championship belt, you know? Yeah. And then and when you go, Dad, look, I won the belt. And he's like, oh, you got to be careful. I think it's really heavy. You know, it's just going to sag your pants down. No, that's not what he's doing. I think it's more like, like, okay, cool, but don't let that get to your head. You, sh you should go practice again now. I wish he said something like that. I wish he was like, this would be a good house for the next five years. And you guys are leaving a bigger house later on. No, then I would Western. see that. Whoa. That's Western. He's just trying to like <laughs> protect you in his way. I see. Well, yeah, so nine out of the ten things were pretty much like that. And then the one out of ten thing he liked was like, this is a big house. That's good. It's really and big. He said the air is really good. He said you like the air because we're close to the mountains. He didn't call you stupid this time. No. Oh, shit. What the fuck? What happens? 
Yeah. Okay. <laughs> How did your mom like it? Oh, she loved it. She's kind of, well, she's not like her dad at all, actually. Uh, but she was, just, I'm like, how'd you like it? She was like, nice. It's big. She's like, all I keep thinking about is, how am I going to find your son now? <laughs> That's skinny. Like, where is he going to, he has so many places to hide. That's all I keep thinking about. She's like, I might need to put a leash on him and just wear him around my waist. That's skinny. Yeah. yeah. And our son is big. He can reach the doorknobs. Yeah, he opened the front door. So he can open any door he wants, close them. He's it's gonna be a it's gonna be a mess in there. I was even thinking about changing the doorknob, but I don't know if that's just a temporary solution because he's growing real fast. So even if we change it to a circle one, he'll figure that one out real quick too. I don't know. We might just have to put like a little sensor on his ass or something. Uh, and on the door. Yeah. Yeah, on his ass and on the door, so you can hear when something opens. Boston Market. Let's do Boston Market then. <laughs> Mom is purposely naming nasty food because <laughs> she wants to put the ball in my court so I can pick what to eat. So we just put Taika to bed and it's been such a whirlwind of a night where we're just like playing with Taika, trying to spend some time with them because we rarely get like the evening off like that, that we both forgot to eat dinner. And I almost never forget to eat What's dinner. So I'm me, hungry. You don't get the, so I have the cups. You don't get the this night off. So we were indulging in you. That's cutie. So we're trying to figure out what to eat. But um, that's what we're going to do. We're going to figure out what to eat and spend some quality time together. But I was really excited to be able to share with you guys that we put <laughs> an did. offer in on my house. <laughs> and how excited my dad was. And all the shit that he talked. Instead of going, wow, my son bought a house bigger than I can ever dream of and he's been working so hard for the past, I don't know, 11, 12 years and he's built all these businesses. And his wife is so beautiful. And his wife is beautiful and has a badonka dunk. <laughs> what the hell is going on? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you know, all the angles. <laughs> so instead of saying all that, he just goes, you know how much money you're going to spend on the grass? You make my waist all small. Ooh, that's hot. Damn, he's trying to give me horny. <laughs> so instead of all that, but I, I know he loves me, so I'll take it as I'll I'll take as much of that icy love as possible. But um, yeah. But thank you guys. Used to the ice, icy love for me. A little bit, a little bit. But I definitely do feel blessed to be able to have a job where I can do what I love. Taco Bell. And I think it's pretty, let's do Taco Bell. And I think it's really, really awesome. And thank you for you guys for supporting us and help making all this possible. And because you guys are able to help make all this possible, we're also able to share all these cool like little life journeys with you guys. So thank you guys. See you guys tomorrow.